Ezekiel 37 gives us the most incredible picture of renewal. Ezekiel writes this, the hand of the Lord was on me and he brought me out by the spirit of the Lord and set me in the middle of a valley. It was full of bones. He led me back and forth among them and I saw a great many bones on the floor of the valley, bones that were very dry. He asked me, son of man, can these bones live? I said, Sovereign Lord, you alone know. Then he said to me, prophesy to these bones and say to them, dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. This is what the Sovereign Lord says to these bones. I will make breath enter you and you will come to life. The Apostle Paul later talked about how he was a blasphemer, a persecutor, an insolent opponent, but that Christ Jesus had come into the world to save sinners of whom he was the worst, he was the foremost, but that God's mercy and renewing spirit reached him. The Gospels tell a story of a chief tax collector named Zacchaeus, who was a man known for cheating, exploiting, abusing, and oppressing uh, the poor, and how after an encounter with God, he exclaimed, look, Lord, here and now, I give half of my possessions to the poor, and if I have cheated anybody out of anything, I will pay back four times the amount. Psalm 104 says that when the Spirit of God shows up, we are recreated and the land is renewed. A renewed land is a just land. A recreated heart is a just heart. It's a heart that sees the beauty and inherent worth in and on every human being. It's a heart that walks humbly and lives justly. And there is no human heart that is out of reach for the renewal that the Spirit of God can bring. And that is good news.